Patients are being turned away from South End Hospital this evening and the maternity ward has been evacuated after a huge diesel leak. The A&E department is closed as the emergency services deal with the leak. Victoria Lampard is at the hospital, Victoria. Well, this is the part of the hospital that's been affected. It's the Cardigan building. What we've been told is that a 1,000 litres of fuel leaked into the top floor from a diesel tank above. The maternity unit, as well as two other wards in the floors below, were all evacuated as a precaution. I spoke to one expectant mum as she was leaving the hospital to go home. She told me the smell of fumes was very strong inside. Mothers and babies, as well as the patients from the other two wards, were all moved to other parts of the hospital. All day, people have been told to stay away. The A&E has being closed with ambulances being diverted to other hospitals in the area. The medical director here is Neil Rothney. We had to uh, uh, limit the access to our A&E, so we're very grateful to staff from other hospitals who've taken an ambulance divert. We still have been seeing uh, patients in our resuscitation area um, and we've advised uh, walking wounded and, and walking patients uh, to try not to come to the hospital unless absolutely necessary. We hope that uh, we'll get some idea of when we can move some of the patients back in the next couple of hours or so. And we're acutely conscious of the pressure on the hospitals outside uh, at this difficult time of year when they're already under significant pressure. So we want to lift the divert. I can't say at the moment exactly when that'll be, but we will be reviewing it on an hourly basis. Well, specialist cleaning teams remain inside. It's now a case of ventilating the whole area to try to get rid of the strong smell before patients can return to this part of the hospital. Victoria Lampard, thank you very much.